Oh yeah, we're totally fine. Final boss time, go. Jesus, says in Christ. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. And I don't have my uh, whatever the hell this I'm not having. Okay, bolts on the wall. Here, here we go, here we go. Come on. Today's uh, lesson is mythology. Total force at eight. Yes, not six. Square. Huh? I'm freezing. I'm nervous. Us down to 1% hit points. So that's not to do with it. Okay, well, I can talk about this while the game is uh, doing its thing. That was another binding. And um, Sid also got his um, level 2 little breaks. Oh. One of them, that being first level two. No one else used level four in the breaks, unfortunately. I did look for a bag for a minute, but I don't think we hit enough um, some of the beams until. Um, well, now. So, no touch. No disaster befell the party. As we get smooshed by a supernova. Okay. If you are all, go effing fast. Hmm. 
Whoa. Not bad, not bad, not bad times. Well, uh, <laughs> or that, yeah, that works. Oh, I should probably have cured um, shit stains. No, wait, I'm gonna cut the cup.
and thank you, Eris. So, here's me in post-commentary mode. Um, I am a little concerned about volume levels. I uh, haven't quite gotten used to how volume levels work in, uh, in Audacity here. Uh, but, uh, yeah. This has been Final Fantasy VII. We have finished the game and we are happy. Hmm. Uh, no. Uh, with the mods. Uh, yeah, a viewer um, um, who uh, is also working on a mod for summer, by the way. I want to try that again at some point in, in the near future. Uh, uh, they recently asked me uh, what I thought about the uh, mods, and uh, yeah, I'll just uh, repeat some of the thoughts I had back then, and well, it was <laughs> like the other day, actually. Uh, like, when you play Final Fantasy VII, if you're doing it for the looks, I mean, for, for any pretty graphics, you're obviously doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, sorry, maybe uh, someone will be mad at me for that, but for criticizing Final Fantasy VII, which is, you know, by all rights, a very classic RPG. But hear me out. Uh, there are so many strange things, uh, odd choices, uh, with the graphics and how uh, its appearances in general in this game. Uh, for starters, there are, there are the uh, inconsistent uh, 3D models between uh, the field exploration screens and uh, FMVs, and uh, even in FMVs, they are they are also inconsistent. I mean, there are so many things about this game that just says this is not a quality production, except for the story and the music. Those are good. I might not enjoy uh, the Final Fantasy soundtrack, Final Fantasy VII soundtrack, as much as some other people do, but I do agree that um, it is uh, a solid production. So uh, it's just a, uh, you know, my subjective opinion. I do not enjoy the Final Fantasy soundtrack, Final Fantasy VII soundtrack, and uh, that's all. I have no real criticism. I mean, I have nothing to say as a serious negative argument towards um, appreciating Final Fantasy VII soundtrack. Um, let's see, is there anything else to say? Or rather, what else is there to say? Um, I found that the uh, retranslation mod <clears throat> I will use one, of course, there are two available with the uh, current 7th Heaven uh, mod uh, manager. Mm. Um, I think that <coughs> the changes to story, text, and character dialogue, uh, they were absolutely what the game needed. At least, I <laughs> needed these uh, edits while playing the game. So, um, I would recommend the retranslation, hands down, no problem there. Uh, there is the uh, slight, um, well, I suppose I shouldn't say slight, but it also uh, alters item and spell names. And uh, the viewer with the summoner mod uh, has pointed this out and uh, <laughs> complained about it. I personally have no problem with it, but uh, if others do have a problem with these changes, I understand. I really do. I just disagree. <laughs> um, I mean, the new spell, spell names with Fire, Fyra, Faraga, that kind of thing, that is more in line with Final Fantasy and the conventions, so at least the spell names are more consistent with series traditions. So that is... Um, <laughs> well, that is a good thing. Sorry, but um, if you <laughs> don't like it, you have to um, 
make some kind of a piece with that. Um, I don't know what the uh, proper way to express that in English is at this moment. I'll probably rem remember it in like 10 minutes time after doing this <laughs> commentary recording. Mm. For the other mods though, now let me just pull up that list. Uh, I think most mods are really not necessary. I mean, the battle mods for weapons and uh, characters, mm, sure, yeah. they they are they are nice. Don't get me wrong, but again, you don't need those to enjoy the game. Uh, the uh, few model objects, to be honest. Uh, I can't recommend them. I'm sure they are done. I mean, well, at least. Uh, but they kind of stuck out in a way. I don't think. Or we'll say they look. I won't say they look wrong, but um, they looked out of place to me. Uh, okay, I see there are also animations. Um, in an, an animation mod. Uh, mm, well, I have no real, real opinion on that. Uh, I would recommend that you try the old uh, animations first, like, no mods, no animation mod. Um, as for the new mod, or mod. Uh, if you're going to go with anything there, I would say just stick to the field backgrounds, if anything. Um, I can't really explain why I feel that way, because the Remarkle mod is impressive. That it absolutely is. Uh, but again, a game this age, do you really gain anything by doing this? I mean, besides the resolution bump, and uh, uh, hey, I guess that means you have a bigger long bump. <clears throat> uh, right. The uh, enemy battle models, it looked strange to me, to be perfectly honest. Now, that was mostly about the textures. But I, uh, I will err on the side of not recommending them. Uh, field models for main characters. Um, that I would actually recommend. They are, mm, well, they are more uh, uh, consistent with their um, battle models, and uh, that uh, it does uh, correct one of the. Uh, uh, Oh, 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 the uh, game is ending. Oh, okay, I'll just uh, add a bunch of just black at the ending, I guess. Uh, that, yeah, having uh, consistent character models between uh, battles and uh, field exploration, uh, that is an improvement. <laughs> Sorry, Square, but um, it kind of is, if you ask me. Uh, for the NPCs also, there are upgraded field models, yeah, use those as well. Uh, okay, gameplay tweaks and cheats. Uh, yeah, they have a clock fix. That was interesting, I will say that much, but it just made the uh, puzzle more tedious. Uh, for me anyway, if you like that sort of a thing, you should absolutely go with it. I don't, so I uh, <laughs> would not recommend it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, increase sense limit is available too. Yeah. Uh, I highly recommend that actually. Uh, that is a part of the gameplay tweaks and cheats uh, mod. Uh, invincible. 
Well, hey, no opinion. If you want to play the game that way, go right ahead. If not, I have no problem with either with either way. Uh huh. And uh, look at that. You can manipulate uh, Kate Sith's and uh, Tifa's reels. Um, by all means, do that if you find uh, their reels to be annoying. Otherwise, just leave them off. Um, save PHS anywhere. Uh, that does kind of add some creature comfort. I played with that particular mod off. And uh, to be honest, I am a little worried what might happen if you use it, but hey, if it works, all good. Ah, uh, okay, so that's how you do it. Um, yeah, there's also an option to skip cutscenes. Just, why? Why would you? And here I am, having played the entire game through with that option activated. Well. <laughs> hmm? Okay, and here's something about synchronizing the opening music to Barrett actions. I have no idea what that is. I've, I used it in my playthrough, and I didn't spot any obvious difference. Yeah, well. Uh, now, movie and music mods. I can't honestly recommend them. The reason being that, uh, well, you, maybe you remember how I sort of <laughs> rage and ranted at um, one of the um, FMV mods that replaced the Chibi models with uh, some um, 2D sprites rendered on a flat plane. That was honestly quite terrible. And the only other options are just upscales uh, with or without uh, smoothing and uh, sharpening of the original videos. So, uh, I mean, if you are going to do game capture, it will probably be a good idea to have the videos at the same resolution you're playing the game, so in that case you would benefit from using the uh, upscale, just simple, uh, full, simple full HD FMVs uh, with, with smoothening or sharpening, that's you know, up to you. Uh, I think there's something, I, I think the Remarkle mod did something with the movies as well. Um, but, I mean, if you're just going to play it for yourself and it doesn't break your then graphics card somehow, just stick with the original videos, really. Also, the music. Um, I did say that uh, the original soundtrack was a solid quality production, right? See, the mods I found to be inconsistent in how they handled instrumentation and uh, well other things and well there were other problems with them well I, I say problems but I mean it got on them for having managed to do this absolutely I am impressed with their effort and uh, yeah all the respect to those who uh, were engaged with that but uh, as a whole package I don't think that the uh, music mods are at the end of the day, an improvement over the original midis. In terms of audio quality and audio fidelity, sure, but subjectively, when you're playing the game, I really honestly think the midis are the better choice. Um, I never thought I'd hear myself say that, but well, there you go. Uh, yeah, there are menu modifications. Again, they are not really necessary. Oh, I didn't mean to deactivate that mod. Um, mm, oops. Uh, let's see if I can just find it again. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's see. What do you have in there? Configure. 
Okay, character portraits, just uh, go with whatever, whatever you like. You have a few, oh, no, you only have one up, one um, altered uh, game over screen, uh, but a number of uh, prelude credit mods and uh, start menu modifications. Uh, personally, I got the most enjoyment out of the start menu modifications. The others, they, they don't really matter to me. Mm. Let's see, is there anything else I want to come down on? Uh, yeah, okay, I talked about the pre-rendered backgrounds from the Remaco mod. I stand by my previous recommendation, still, believe it or not. Uh, let's... oh, no, 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 we want to move that one up. And again. Uh, yeah, one more. Yeah, pre-rendered backgrounds, if you want to use a mod, Absolutely, I would say go with Rimako. Uh, not to knock the other um, uh, modders. Uh, I just, uh, I mean, to be honest, I don't think the uh, the uh, differences are particularly noticeable. But it seems to me seems to me like the uh, techniques used to make the Rimako um, the backgrounds. is superior in some way. Uh, let's see, the mini games, as I said before... Ah, okay, well... Um, now, anything that will make the mini games run more stably and uh, in a more sane speed than in the retail version, that is a good thing. Um, the graphical touch-ups, though, I really don't think you need them at all. They're nice, sure, but in the Fort Condor minigame, I did experience a render hierarchy glitch, uh, which made it difficult to aim the ballistas and uh, the stoners and tristoners. Um, I can't say for sure what actually caused that. If it was the mod, I mean, it doesn't seem like it should be the uh, art asset modifications themselves, more like something to do with uh, uh, how the game's rendered, either full screen or the shaders. Um, uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, there, there's a game balance tweak for Wonder Square. Definitely enable that. The rest is optional. Spell textures. I think I used uh, some mod there, but <laughs> you don't really. I mean, come on, this game was released in freaking 1998. or 90, Was it 97? Yeah, somewhere around there. I mean, nice if you can have different textures, but if you're playing the game for the looks, you're doing things wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, they don't really break anything though. Uh, it seems so... Oh, okay. Well, actually, I did have some issues with uh, specifically the Hades summon where I saw some uh, unexpected flickering of the uh, sprites used to populate the, uh, well, things where the game puts sprites. Uh, and that uh, that was not great. That's the kind of thing that can make me a bit motion sick. And uh, uh, I mean, I didn't have a problem with it. So at the end of the day, no harm, no foul. Um, but that's the kind of thing that makes me uh, not able to <laughs> recommend using spell texture modifications. Now, retranslation. Here we go. Uh, 
is B cause and menu overhaul from DLPB's uh, reunion mod. I think. Oh, oh, look at that. You can also break the 9,999 limit. Yeah. Do it if you want to. I, I wouldn't, but I never hit 9,999 anyway. So, so it was completely ir irrelevant to my playthrough. Uh, okay, so you can also remove battle boxes, make the uh, battle screens look more like Final Fantasy IX. I can't really recommend that. I I feel it would just break break more than it uh, improves. But that's just me. I didn't play the game with that uh, mod activated, so hey, maybe it works. I just don't know. Mm. Uh, but the, I'm trying to remember how things worked here with the uh, retranslation mods. Uh, there was there were the reunion and one more mod, right? I am not seeing that right here at this moment. I don't know why. Oh, hello. Oh, that's probably something else. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, look at that. Um, Rimako, the, the Rimako mod also redid the avatars. Uh, they only used the original avatars, though, the original art. So, by all means, if you are fine with the original portraits as they are with the white background, go with uh, the Rimako mods. Um, uh, iteration, I guess. Uh, right. Starting to wind down here. Okay, yeah, we have only two retranslation mods, it seems. B cause and the menu overhaul. So I'm guessing the menu overhaul only modified the menus with like item spell names and because did everything well that is um, all I have to say about the mods uh, anything that makes the gameplay work better go with that anything else <sighs> optional um, yeah Okay, so what comes next? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be long as fuck, this video. <laughs> wow, must be uh, going for 50 minutes by the sound. Um, well, anyway, I, I had three options, or actually four, technically, technically speaking. Uh, either Planet Alpha for PlayStation 4. It's a short action-adventure game. Uh, shouldn't take very long. But I also want to do the Xeno Saga series with the uh, Pound HDMI link cable. Uh, if I start that project, though, I will want to play, well, binge play the games, really. So, start with one episode, then go straight to number two, and then number three. Then I'm done. Uh, there's also Final Fantasy VI, obviously, that was going to be my next Final Fantasy. Then I found that uh, another YouTuber I follow actually just started his own Final Fantasy VI Let's Play just literally the other week. Or um, the week I'm recording this, maybe, even. No, no not the, the week before I'm recording this. No. Well, anyway, so uh, <laughs> I'm getting a little Final Fantasy VI saturated. That said, I am looking forward to doing Final Fantasy VI. So that's not an issue. Um, now, the fourth option is... Actually, Summoner. 
I mentioned uh, a summoner mod before, right? Uh, that is uh, someone who has not been commenting on my videos through YouTube, but rather to reaching out to me directly. Uh, and uh, she has promised, that, well, she has been working on, I should say, uh, a very uh, thorough, very just to the metal, hands on kind of thing modification of. Uh, mostly items in summoner but also enemy stats and uh, just how some things are are um, handled mechanistically within the game and uh, from what uh, from what she's been telling me it sounds like um, it's going to be a pretty revolutionary experience uh, for how that game is played in a way I mean it will still be the same game but uh, it seems like it will change a lot of things and in a very significant way. I have promised to uh, try, try this mod out, showcase it on the channel. Um, I hope I will have a link to a download to go with that. Uh, I do not have the mod in my possession, the, that, that is a finished version of the mod at, at present, so I'm not going to just turn around and start recording that showcase right after recording this commentary. Uh, but that is one thing that will come at some point. Also, apparently, um, the next year, Summoner will turn 20. So that's uh, that's something to celebrate. Anyway, I have waffled on quite enough. This has been a conclusion and a half and then some to my Final Fantasy 7 Let's Play. See you in whatever comes next. And uh, now I think I will capture some Wachenröder.